So Nocta just released an update for the Simplex, which is software version 2.76, I believe, with a number of improvements. And right off the bat, my favorite has got to be the fact that they've fixed the issue with the menu timing out. One of my biggest complaints with this detector before was that when you go to make adjustments in the menu, if you didn't do it quick enough, it would default back to the main screen and you'd have to start all over again. Well, the way they fixed that is adding a lot more time to the timeout. And if you get done making your selection and you want to go back, all you got to do is hit the up arrow and you can go back to the main screen. Uh, some of the other things they've added is an extra park mode, which is supposed to be a little bit deeper than the original park mode. This one's titled Park 1. The old park mode will be Park 2. Uh, anyway, it's supposed to be a little bit deeper than the original park mode at the cost of a little bit of uh, recovery speed. They've also added a ground meter at the bottom of the screen and one extra level of sensitivity. Uh, the complete list of changes, we'll go over that real quick. Number one, sensitivity level, sensitivity level seven has been added to provide extra depth. Number two, an extra mode has been added, park one. Number three, changes have been made to the all metal mode. Uh, number four, mineralization bar has been added to the screen. Number five, timeout links have been increased. Number six, back function up arrow has been added to exit from the settings menu. Number seven, ID depth has been increased. That was something that a lot of people complained about in park mode especially. Uh, targets six inches down or seven inches down, a lot of times it just wouldn't give you an ID in park mode. You'd have to switch over to field mode to get a good ID. So supposedly they fixed that. Number eight, four levels have been added to the automatic brightness shown as A1, A2, A3, and A4 on the screen. Number nine, audio for pinpoint mode and wired headphones has been optimized. And number 10, manual ground balance function has been expanded. I'm not gonna read all of that. If you wanna read it, you can see it on their website. Anyway, the, the ones I'm most excited about is like I said, the, the timeout, the menu timeout's been adjusted and the, uh, I wanna check out the extra park mode. So let's go do that now. Okay, hopefully you can see this. I've got it in park two, which should be the equivalent of the original park mode. And I'm gonna turn the sensitivity down one notch below max. And that should be the equivalent of having it maxed out prior to the update. Here I've got a seven inch clad dime. And before the update, the detector would hit it and give a tone response, but it wouldn't ID, wouldn't give any ID whatsoever. So according to Nocta, Nocta, the new update is supposed to make it ID deeper. So let's see how that works. And it definitely does. I'm getting an ID now. Where before it wouldn't give one at all. It's jumping around a little bit, but at least it's giving one. Okay, the next thing I want to check is the additional level of sensitivity. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, definitely. Definitely makes a difference. All right. Now let's take a look at the new park mode, which is park one. And this one's supposed to be a little bit deeper than the original park mode, but a little bit slower on the recovery. We'll start out with it one notch below the max sensitivity. Yeah, that definitely seems to hit it a little better than the other park mode. Let's bump it all the way up to max sensitivity. Oh yeah. Yeah, tagging that seven inch dime, no problem. So it looks like it's a good update with some definite improvements. Now I just I need to get it out and try it out in the field. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Happy hunting, and I'll see you next time.